Hi, Corrado here. Uh, today I want to show you guys uh, how to change the engine oil with this guy. All right, this is a, um, the model number uh, MV7201 Fluid Evac Evacuator Plus uh, that I'll be using today. All right, uh, in the Mercedes GLS um, 450, uh, this is the 2017 version, and uh, you can access the, the fuel through this meter. Um, it's usually in the older cars, um, they have this, so you can still pull it out. Uh, so this is where you can read how much oil um, is in the engine. Here you can see like there's that hole. Uh, that's why we're going to insert our tube in there uh, for the exit. Okay, the evacuator pump comes with this uh, system. Um, so you can, so I'm going to put this uh, tube into the engine. Okay, and then uh, use the evacuator pump to, uh, to pull out the, the engine oil. All right, I'm going to start feeding the the tube into, into the All right. Next, uh, you in the pump. You want to set up the um, set up the pump properly uh, to the vacuum position. So you start pulling the oil out. Alright, you can see it from the tube, it's coming down. You can hear the, the oil is, uh, start depositing into the valve. The tube is filled with oil. Let the vacuum pull out the oil. Now we mentioned earlier, um, I thought the, the engine oil would be a little bit hot, but um, right now I'm feeling just a little bit warm and it's not to the level that I can't, um, can't bear with my hands. Alright, it's been about 3 minutes from the scale, so I think this is by liters. Uh, currently I'm seeing it's about, uh, about a liter, so 1 liter, 2, 3, 4 liter mark here. All right, progress check. Uh, we're at almost about two liter mark. It's been about eight minutes. Right now, you can see the line is still filled with the oil. That's why I just let it, let the uh, vacuum pull. Here, you'll know when you, you start seeing bubble, like like right now. All right, you start seeing bubble there. You know you need to give it some more uh, more pump. Now create the pressure. Uh, we're at about five liters. Um, okay. In the meantime, uh, I'll, I'm going to start taking this apart. We can get access under this uh, the lid to the filter. Okay. Uh, taking those this off should be pretty simple. There's a few uh, clips under under there, and then on the side there's also two clips you can pull. Set this aside and this is the oil filter housing and uh, you can use the piler to open that okay this is the filter I'm going to use uh, it's the original one from Mercedes so in the package you're going to get a filter all right this comes with the o-ring that you're going to put in the uh, oil filter housing okay um, just good practice is to loop with some fresh oil here before the installation. All right, I'm using this uh, Tecton um, clamp to remove the uh, to remove the oil housing. You want to remove the filter from this housing and uh, the o-ring that we talk about is actually here 
right? So uh, you can replace the new O-ring. This is the filter in the housing. You have to um, pull a little bit harder. So this is already loose. So uh, I pull it with my hand. You can just pull, pull this out. Okay, just uh, be careful of the oil spill. Next, you want to take out this O-ring. Uh, this is the new oil filter uh, from Mercedes. I'll just push it in. You probably, yeah, you do. You can hear a click moving the O-ring, like I said earlier. So with uh, some fresh oil. Okay, uh, this is the oil filter housing. Um, there's a gap, the biggest gap at the bottom. That's where the O-ring should be sitting. So you just uh, move it in place. All right, so O-ring should be sitting right there. This is the oil cap. And you can access the oil cap here. Um, just need to open it. Okay. Here, get this set up. And start um, pouring the, the new oil in there. And now you can use the stick to, to gauge uh, if there's enough oil in the tank. Obviously, a little bit more. Okay, uh, got my last pour, and then checking with the oil stick. Okay, so you want to stay within this range, and this is clearly showing that oil is uh, is here. So there's enough. After the oil change, uh, you want to reset the service reminder. Uh, in this section, I'll I'll show you guys how to get it done. You want to press the start button once without your foot on the uh, on the brake so this will wake up your car and you can navigate to the, the mileage okay and then there are two buttons uh, you want to use uh, to reset one is the the phone phone button here and the other is the ok button so you want to press this button down and then quickly within a second you want to hit the OK button, hold it there for 5 seconds. This should bring up the vehicle data menu. So you can use the, the down button to navigate to the Assist Plus. Okay. Hit OK to enter the menu. And then you can hit on the full service. And then scroll down to, to the Confirm Full Service. Hit the OK button, and then since we changed the oil, it was the service was carried out. Hit the Yes, confirm with the OK button, and you're done. And uh, if you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. Thank you.